right? Cock your ears, let me tell you. I tell me, I got to tell you. We something. have two things to tell you. <laughs> Did I say that correctly? You said it right. <laughs> tell me something about yourself. Okay, um, Dr. Dawn Lemonia from Ulster Spring, Trelawney, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. That's where I grew up and I went to the primary school there. And of course, transition through high school, teachers, college and work life. Here I am in Montego Bay, Jamaica. I've been involved in the tourism industry for many years. Mm -hmm. Can't remember how many years now, more than 20 years. But however, for the last 23 years, I have been involved in delivering a program called the Team Jamaica program, where participants are exposed to Jamaican culture, or music, or food, or language, or geography, or history. And over the last 23 years, as I move around Jamaica doing this presentation, mm -hmm. when it comes to Anansi stories, you ask persons, how many people can give me an Anansi story? Uh-oh, I don't remember any, or they'll say, I know one. And I can tell you why Puss and Dark can't agree. And by the time they go to the first three sentences, they forget. <laughs> they can't complete the story. And so it has always been on my mind to do something like this. Never really took it on. Right. And persons in my programs are always encouraging me to write. Just never figured out exactly what I'm going to write about. And during the lockdown, um, three months into the lockdown, the idea came to me to write some puzzles about Jamaica. So I wrote a crossword puzzle on our history. I tested it on family and friends in Jamaica and overseas. Good. And they absolutely love the history puzzle. So I, I proceeded to write more puzzles. I wrote one for geography, one for Jamaican cuisine, one for our culture, one for our civics, interesting place names, and our environment, including our flora and our fauna. That was seven of them. When I was done with that, I said, hmm, can't publish a book with just seven stuff, puzzles in there. Mm -hmm. But I remember the Anansi stories. So I started to write Anansi stories. I wrote three, and an aunt of mine spoke about the Anansi stories, and she gave me three more, so I had six in the book. Then I added my, my proverbs, and then I said, I don't want to just put the proverbs in there because people just write proverbs. I want to give a situation right. in which a proverb is likely to be used, which is what I did. And I gave riddles, and I wrote my very first poem. I have seen things to tell you Gosh. in the book, written in the dialect. And my parents, my father is from Cotton Tree in Trelawney, and his maternal grandparents are from Warsop. We're from Warsop in Trelawney. So there's a story about Warsop and my great grandfather, and there's a story about my mother's side of family because she grew up in Williamsfield, St. Elizabeth, near Aberdeen. So it's an interesting mix of everything yes. oral traditions that's highlighting how important our oral traditions are that's about me right. <laughs> can you read me something from the book i think i should read you my poem because my poem sums up who we are as a jamaican people mm -hmm. my poem is called me have sinting to tell you me have sinting to tell you you hear what me just say me say me have something to tell you. You want to hear me have to tell you? Yes. All right. Cock your ears, let me tell you. I tell me I got to tell you something. Eh? Mm -hmm. Me I got to tell you about Jamaica and we the Jamaican people. We not easy, you know? No, sir. We not easy at all. You see, if we go to cuss you, you shame and hang down your head like a donkey cubby. And for sure, we make you lap your tail between your foot them like a dog and go hide. That's how much you shame. You see, if we sorry for you, we go so show you so much sympathy that your balls until you hear them swell like a boiled pepper. Mm -hmm. We full of love in our heart. Then now, if we love you, we treat you so nice, you're going to feel so good. Are you going green like a picnic for a weekend? Yes, man. A without locks. We mix up with everything, you know. So with the African, the Asian, the Middle Eastern, and the European people, we have one hell of a culture. 
That's why we're so special. You know, so we're full of talent, do transport to entertainment to science to education. We are the best. We dress different, we talk different, and we cook different. Cha! We just different so. And the next thing, we woman them pretty world without end. Look at you. Ask for Jamaican Miss World them. Then we tell you. Enough things we tell you already. Make sure you get it good, good, good. Them say, they face Gilaya trouble. So no bother go tell nobody no lie upon me. Member say, just like I in the Anansi story them, when you go tell somebody about what me say, you must say, so me get it, so me sell it. Go on, cock your ears. Just member say, me got more things to tell you. Excellent. <laughs> what inspired you to write that? I was driving one day after I finished writing the book. Yeah. A thought came to me to include a poem in the book. But I said, I don't write poems. So how am I going to put a poem in the book? I can't ask somebody to read a poem for me, to write a poem for me. And while I was having that conversation in my mind, the words started to come. I was driving. I was driving from Montego Bay to Falmouth. So I took up my phone and I went on my voice recorder and I taped what was flowing in my head. Mm -hmm. All of this was flowing. And when I went to Falmouth, I took up my notebook and I write my poem and this is the poem. That's how I wrote this poem, my very first poem. What is the book actually called? Me have sinting for tell you. All right, okay. So this is a pro Jamaican woman. You yeah. know, we are Jamaican people, we are storytellers and we love a good story and we love news as well. Yeah. So when you tell somebody that me have sinting for tell you, yeah. excitement arises immediately. They will put down anything to hear. And this is, this is the kind of thing I wanted to create with this book. When you hear that me have something to tell you, you're going to want to hear what me have to tell you. That's lovely. Yes. You know, I think that would be good for a lot of children that were born abroad, yes. but their parents are Jamaican. Yes. You know, give them a little bit of a feel for the culture. Yes. I know my children would love something like that. And exactly. My grandchildren. Exactly. And I tell you what has been happening so far. It has been doing pretty well. People in the UK, in Canada, and yeah. in the US have been buying it. They have been reading it to their children. And yes. someone sent me an audio clip of their children, their American grown children, trying to read the Anansi story. It was hilarious. But I've had a lot of persons who are telling me, wow, I'm trying to read the part while I've Jamaica so long, I've lost connection. I have to now go through this and try to pronounce the words. And when you hear expressions that we have in the book, you know, we, we love to repeat what we say. Of course, it brings back a lot of memories. A lot of memories. Yeah. Words of endearment and so on. And words that we use. Donkey Kobe, fall down, sense a foul, good kid, you know, puppy dog. All these words that we use to describe people. And tell me, I go tell you something. I feel me feel furry. I drive me, I go drive. I sit down, may I go sit down, you know? If somebody wanted to purchase a copy of the book, where would they go? They go on Amazon, it's on Amazon, available yeah. on Amazon. Those persons in the UK who buy it, they oh, tell right. me that they get it on, um, they're able to buy it. When I uploaded the book, I allowed for it to be purchased in the UK as well. Okay. So it is in America, it is in the UK, it's available in Europe as well, in addition to Canada and wherever else in the world that Amazon does business and with and ships with. what is the price? On Amazon, it is $22 US. Okay. I'm not sure what the price is in the UK, but I suppose it will be the equivalent, um, you know, in, in, the, in the UK. So when did you complete the book? I started writing this book in May, yeah. during the lockdown, yeah. and I completed it in August. Lovely. Thank you very much for sharing your story with us. It's yes. been a pleasure. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure meeting you and to share in the book with you. And so far, I know the persons in the UK have bought the book, have been so appreciative of Excellent. the book. And I'm looking forward to your audience in the UK. Hi, UK! All family and friends there, please make sure that this book becomes a part of your collection. Give it as a Christmas gift. Give a gift of culture this Christmas and give a gift of culture even beyond this Christmas. 
Remember say, enough things me have to tell you. Well, me I go tell the whole world how the, how the Africa, how the England, how the Europe, France, the Jamaicans there and foreigners there, uh, Germany, wherever you are, Australia, anywhere you're there. How the me I give you. Love from my heart. Me bono no people them. Me love you from the bottom of my heart. Good luck and make sure I say, you remember say, me have something to tell you. So here I am, Dr. Dawn Lemonius on Five Eyes TV. Thank you so very much for accommodating me on this interview. It's an amazing opportunity and I would not pass it up for anything. Thank you so much, Five Eyes TV. Dawn Lemonius. I tell you, me have something to tell you. This is Paula on FiveEyes.tv here at Witter Village, Ironshore, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Me always I go have something to tell you.